Hey everyone, meet my new pal, Music. Oh, oh no, no, he should not have that. Ah. How are y'all doing today, my friends? Today we're going to look at what Daniel Larson's been up to lately. You know, for the past few weeks I've been looking to make a video on the little guy, but I didn't find enough to, to really put in the video. And then today I saw that Daniel found a new little friend, and we, we got to talk about this. We really do, because I don't want to sit here and and campaign to take someone's someone's dog away, you know? A lot of people look at their dogs like a best friend, you know? Some people look at it like a child. But if you want to have a dog, if you want to have like another form of life there that depends on you, you got to be able to take care of it. And Daniel Larson, the homeless nomad who's been traveling across the country in hopes to find his fake girlfriend who's just another of many catfishes, well, you know, you, pro you probably shouldn't be taking care of another, uh, another form of life. But I will say this. This week, we found out that Daniel Larson apparently is making a pretty a pretty penny off of his cameo and all this stuff. So Daniel's probably going to be able to buy food for the dog if he wishes to. You know, that money could just all go to AMC stock for all we know. But that's the light at the end of the tunnel I'm looking at. At least Daniel actually has money, you know. I, I never want to sit here and go, man, I'm so happy that that pedo has money. But now that he has a dog that he has to take care of, you know, hopefully that money goes to taking care of of that dog. We can all sit here and pray for that. But at the end of the day, you know what type of person Daniel is. He's the type to just let that dog go the second he decides that he doesn't want it anymore. And it's a very scary thought because, you know, I I'm an animal lover. I'm pretty sure most of you guys who watch this are animal lovers. You know, I want to show a picture of the dog on screen right now. Like, look at this. Look at this guy. Like, come on. Come on, there's a beautiful dog right here. Knowing that he has to suffer being on the leash, leash held by Daniel Larson, it's, it's a pretty fucking cruel thing to think about. And as you can imagine, I'm not the only one who has these concerns. <laughs> a lot of people express these concerns to Daniel, and he made a video on YouTube talking about this whole situation. So let's see if Daniel can kind of quell the worries of all these people hoping that he'll take care of this dog. Probably won't. He probably won't. Knowing Daniel will probably make it ten times worse, but let's check it out anyway. Okay, so apparently there is a complete miscommunication. I already have all the funds for the apartment. And um, the dog, I already make enough. So that is completely, like... Like I said before, do not believe what the Reddit is saying. They're all trolling. I do move in to the apartment. Um, there's currently, I'm in contact with four different apartments. And I have already started filling out paperwork. So all I'm waiting for is which one will be approved first. All of them, they are saying I will hear back in the next couple days. Firstly, I'm willing to bet that most of those potential apartments that Daniel's talking about are just people trying to mess with him. Um, you know, it's kind of it's kind of the mo in this Daniel Larson situation. It's kind of the mo with most little cows. If they're talking about someone trying to help them out, a lot of times it's a troll. But I'll be honest here, he probably is talking with a couple apartments because, as I previously mentioned, Daniel's been making a killing this month. Uh, Daniel's been doing that cameo stuff, and originally he was charging like sixty bucks for a cameo. The other day, I heard that he was charging close to 200 and Daniel Larson photos got out of how much he made, and I think we already talked about it, but yeah, $5,000, a little over $5,000, so people were paying for these cameos, you know, when <laughs> he could probably just write in his chat if he was ever live, and he'd probably shout you out that way too, but hey, you know, you gotta get those precious Daniel Larson shout out somehow, but the reason I've been showing Daniel on screen the whole time while talking about this, instead of the jolly old picture of Tito that I used usually use and that's because well i mean just look at the guy daniel's eyes are shifting around like crazy i know they always do but just look at him go he is making sure that no adversaries are about to roll up on him like he, he's making sure of it he can't get one or two words out without looking back up to make sure that none of his ops are coming around the corner to smoke his ass but you know i don't think that's how this video ends he's about to just talk more about finances and all that but let's be honest here that, that's what we're here to talk about we're here to hear daniel talk logic and <laughs> Even though it's not very logical, it's his logic, and hey, that's all that matters. So, I do have enough. I do make enough. 
to support um, the dog. So, and I also have a motel room for tonight. So I do have enough that I am fully supporting myself and the dog. So do not tell lies. So again, Daniel thinks that himself having this money is simply enough to make people realize that, yeah, he can take care of this dog, when that's not what people are worried about. Yeah, Daniel, you do have this money now, but people are worried about you being neglectful, which is something that people have seen Daniel do numerous times. I mean, you look at someone he looked at like a father figure, Bob, when he was having a breakdown, he beat the beat the fucking piss out of Bob and it's it, it's worrying it's worrying to see someone like Daniel who can just go off the rails like that have, have a dog I've said this many times on the channel but I think it bears repeating for this moment here again there are two things in life that you cannot mess with and expect people to be okay with that is children and that is animals people are never going to let you get away with messing with two things that genuinely can't defend themselves so when you see daniel larson someone who is an admitted pedo um now taking care of a dog while at the same time not even know not even knowing where he's gonna sleep most nights it's it's something that got people really really confused really really worried about this situation and like i said you can't blame him you can't blame him at all i know many people may be thinking oh you're blowing this out of proportion man you sound like those uh those protesters who took that dog from that homeless guy last week did you guys see that that was <laughs> that was messed up that was messed up but this this is not that situation daniel larson is not fit to take care of anyone because he can't even take care of himself so i don't know we'll have to see where this story goes but yeah it's definitely something Something to bring up there because I don't know I'm a firm believer that Daniel Larson should definitely not have that dog but we'll see let's just pray and hope to God that he can actually take care of it because that's probably the best case scenario right now we're gonna look at a few more videos of Daniel's week and uh and see what happened all the wackiness that ensued because there's a few things that might make this a lot more lighthearted, not have to worry about the dog or anything like that but before we get lighthearted, we have to get really dark first because just a few weeks ago I came across a video and um and once I saw this I thought you know let me put this in the next Daniel Larson video just to show people something a lot of people ask well how do you know that Daniel's a predator how do you know that Daniel's a pedo and this video was recorded about a year or two ago when Daniel Larson was in his early 20s and this is how he was talking about an underage girl at the time now it's it's this has nothing to do with the video it's just to show you the kind of person that Daniel Larson is so we can move forward here this message goes out to Darcy Lynn if we were together and dating I would f you till you bleed I would f you till you scream and squirt. I would take you anywhere in the world you want to go. Become anything we want to be. I will support you till the day we die. You are a very talented, amazing person. Please reach out to me. He's a sick bastard, Daniel. I completely understand why people have no sympathy towards him. I mean, I'm pretty sure me and Daniel are around the same age. And even a few years ago, I wouldn't even fucking fathom saying some some creepy shit like that especially to some underage girl but that's what daniel's been doing for years now i mean he's had that obsession with grace vanderwall since she was underage too it's she's not the only one and it's it, that's the one thing daniel larson it's why people can't stand him someone came into one of my live streams the other day and asked me hey why do people not like daniel larson and this is just one of the many reasons why i wanted to paint this picture before we move on here because daniel's going to be doing some like pretty pretty wacky shit that we're probably going to be laughing at but at the end of the day it's it's you really got to remember this guy is not safe to be on the streets because you never know what he's doing so i always say that it's very good that people like daniel are surrounded in these communities when they're getting trolled all the time because at least it's keeping them away from actually preying on people who are more vulnerable than them but enough about that now let's just laugh at the pedo so daniel in this next video has a priceless look on his face as he's trying to figure out if his youtube account is hacked or not does somebody else have access to my youtube 
I just saw a community post where it says, I'm about to kill Bob. Does somebody else, does somebody else have access to my YouTube? There's nothing very notable about that clip right there. It's just funny to think that Daniel thinks his account's either being hacked or maybe he saw one of the many sock accounts that people make of him. Who knows? It's it's very like Daniel to just see one of them and believe, like, holy shit, is that actually me or not? Like, But who knows? Because knowing Daniel, he's the type of person to give those, like, <laughs> to give his password and all that information out about his account. It's just the type of stuff that Daniel would do. So I wouldn't put it past him. In the next video, Daniel talks about how he now has a monthly phone bill, because apparently, as we'll come to find out later when we read through Daniel's community posts, Daniel Larson wasn't able to buy a prepaid card, so now he has a phone bill that he has to pay every month. And this seems like a, an entirely foreign concept to Daniel, which is very strange when you remember that like his entire life revolves around his phone so this new adult like way of living where he has to pay a phone bill every single month it's gonna be trying on the little guy hey everyone hey everyone so i um am now going to have to pay for my own phone bill it is going to be 65 a month So I have to pay my phone bill by tomorrow. And that's going to be $65. It sounds like he's just trying to get his, uh, his quote-unquote fans to pay for it for him. <laughs> Made sure to beat, beat the point home that it's $65 a month, guys. And, and, you know, it doesn't even just sound like that. That's exactly what Daniel's doing, because he always does this type of stuff. He always asks for his fans to pay for this stuff, always tells the fans that they need to really, really need to get it together and help him pay for all this stuff. And, you know, it's really funny because he just made that previously uh, mentioned five grand. I don't know why he can't just take a quick 65 bucks out of that. But who knows? Who knows? Daniel, though, that $65 phone bill, it's, it's going to be a burden on him. Hey, everyone. This is Daniel Larson. So I have an update. I need to get my apartment within 14 days or I could be in big trouble with the court. Why would that be? Like, <laughs> genuinely, I'm, I'm curious, why would he, is that, like, true? Is anyone who, like, studies law or knows about this stuff, could you leave a comment down there below? Like, does he genuinely have to find an apartment? Like, will the courts crack down on him if he doesn't have an apartment in the next two weeks? Like, what, what would be the reason behind that? I don't know. Why am I even thinking about this? It's Daniel Larson. It's, he's either full of shit or a troll told him this. It's, either way, he's full of shit then, but still. Um, he really needs to get this apartment, though. He could just be lying to say that so he can, like, hopefully get it faster. Um, one of the things that he's trying to do to, to make that money is that he's doing a sale on cameos, you know? So if you were one of those people who just couldn't stomach paying that high, high price, and what am I saying? High price, $200 for a Daniel Larson cameo, that's a, that's a fucking steal and a half. But... If you were one of those people who was waiting for it to go on sale, like a, you know, like a new game release, you're waiting for it to go on sale because you just don't want to pay full price, well, guess what? Daniel Larson's got the answer for you because he put on his black hoodie, <laughs> sat in a corner somewhere looking really shady, and let the world know that there's a sale. Hey, everyone. This is Daniel Larson. I have... A new update and a new sale. So go check out my cameos. We are doing a massive 50% off sale. All cameos for the next 24 hours are going to be $100. 50% off. You know, I'd sit here and make jokes. <laughs> like, you can probably make jokes about stuff like this all day. The absurdity of Daniel Larson selling $200 cameos and thinking that he's giving people a deal and knocking it down to $100. But I can't because motherfuckers are buying them. Like, who are you people? What are you, what, what are you doing? Like, I know I'm kind of laughing about this, but for real, like, what are you doing, dude? Like, 
you're giving this this predator money, but why? Like, I know many people may feel bad for him, look at him and go, oh, man, this is a, a troubled, a troubled, slow youth who's, like, you know, just just trying his hardest to get by in the world. But no, that's not what it is. It's, it's Daniel Larson. And you got to look into these people before you give them money blindly. That's what a lot of people did. You know, maybe they didn't give it blindly. Maybe they knew exactly what they were doing. But good job, ladies and gentlemen. You filled the pockets of a predator. It really makes you look good now. Um, you know, if it was some of these people giving him money to say, hey, maybe buy the dog, like, you know, a bone, look at, look out, look out for the dog or something, that's understandable. But the dog just got into the picture, like, a day or two ago. So all these people who gave him thousands on Cameo, shame on you. Like, what are you, what are you doing? For real? Like, I, it's, it's, I can't even really fathom this. Like, wh why? Wh whatever. It's your money, but it's a really weird thing to do. But Daniel wants this money bed, and he wants that message out there that he's uh, he's putting this cameo sale up there for all these people to take advantage of. But, you know, he, he's maybe talking about it a little too much because... Anybody who has subscribed to Daniel knows that he uses his community tab on YouTube kind of like a Twitter feed. He just posts whatever he thinks constantly, over and over, all day long. And Daniel also kind of uses his shorts, uh, the shorts feed now is the same thing. Because look at this. Look at this. I, he posted the same thing with like 10 different titles over and over and over again. I don't know. I don't know why he does this. I think he just really wants the message out there, but it just makes him look crazier than he already does, and it's, it's pretty, it's a pretty hard thing to accomplish. But as Daniel, he doesn't see what he's doing. So in the last video we posted on Daniel, you saw those videos where those two college kids went up to him on the street and demanded to be his new security. Well, they said they were his new security, but Daniel didn't listen to it. Well, you know, Daniel is still on the hunt to find some good security. So let's hear from Daniel how the hunt for new security guards is going. I imagine pretty well. So I've started making calls to security bodyguard companies. I will keep everybody updated on how much that will cost. Like a more exact amount. <laughs> Again, this is just like what he said with the cell phone bill. He sounds like he just is expecting all of his uh, fans to pay for this for him. You know, he's, he's talking about, I'll let you guys know a more estimated number. Because he's expecting people to be waiting with, like, bated breath. Be like, okay, I have my hand on my Discover card. The second Daniel finds out how much his security is, we will get that shit moving. Like, don't you worry, Daniel. We got you. And sadly, after seeing the cameo shit, they're very well. <laughs> maybe people out there like that so who knows you know daniel might be walking around with like secret service level shit sometime soon all because of his his cameo buddies in the next clip daniel talks about another way he's trying to save money but this one you know this one was it, it held an entirely different meaning just a day ago because when you hear Daniel say what he's about to say, it probably won't make you, th you won't think anything of it. Because he said this stuff a lot. He lived this way. We saw him up in New York be homeless for three months. And I kind of spoiled probably what we're going to get into here. But I'm just going to, I'm going to show you this video. Listen to what Daniel says here. Hey everyone. So I have an update. There's going to be no motel room for me tonight. I'm going to be saving up for the apartment. So be ready. Be ready for what? Like he, he never makes any sense when he says this stuff. He's he's probably telling all the, the Discover card people to be ready because, you know, when uh when he does need a hotel room, they'll be on that shit lickety split. This is what worries me though. You see Daniel here saying, you know what? And this is only a day or two ago, so he had to have that money. Maybe he doesn't have the cameo money yet. I don't know. But I'm, I'm assuming that he does. And let's just say that Daniel decides, hey, I need to save up my money, so I'm going to spend a night on the streets again. No hotel room for me. That's exactly what he's saying right here. Well, now, you know, you got the dog there, too. Because what worries me is that he's going to he's gonna decide, you know what, I've lost a lot of money. I don't have money to keep, like, feeding this dog, to keep supporting this dog, because all it's doing is burning my pockets, you know, and, and he might just either let it go. I don't think it'll hurt the dog, you know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not accusing Daniel of that, 
but I think that he could just easily just forget about this dog when he doesn't have any means to support it. And I think that's the reason he has the dog to begin with, because he found out that he has a little bit of a chunk of change coming his way. I, I don't know, though. I don't know. Like I said, many people may think I'm overreacting to the dog thing, but I don't know, man. When you have a dog growing up, you, you don't want to see other dogs get put in situations with a crummy owner, and that's exactly what's happening to this poor old dog here. So that's basically all the videos I wanted to show for this week, but you know what? Now it's time to look into Daniel's community posts because that gives you another another form of insight into what's going on in Daniel's everyday life. Of course, he'll make YouTube shorts and different live streams about it, but the community post is really where it's at because that's where Daniel pours his heart and soul into. We start out with Daniel's most recent post, and that simply says, Thank you for the $500 in Venmo donations. Well... He's making money. He, he, Daniel's making money. You know, in the past 24 hours, Daniel Larson has made what? 50 times what Cyrax has ever made in his life. So you got to give it to Daniel on that one. I don't know why people are giving this little bastard money, but they're doing it. Uh, I'll keep repeating that till the cows come home. It, it really doesn't make much sense. If you know anything about the history of Daniel, he, he wouldn't be given money. Then again, all these people who are giving him money must know about the guy and at least the shit he's been through. So who knows? I'm, I may be harping too much on that, but it, it really doesn't make sense to me, especially with all the stuff out there about Daniel. In the next ones, Daniel says that he feels like he's being lied to. And in the very next message, he says that my managers are telling me to keep getting donations and to go get the apartment. Well, he's probably feeling lied to because all of his fucking managers are trolls, but he doesn't realize that. He might realize that sometimes, but then he'll just go get a new manager who's also a troll. But then eventually down the line, he might realize that or he might not. Who fucking knows? Daniel says that he is at an in-person meeting. I don't know what that entails. Maybe it's with Bob. Maybe it's with someone he thinks is like a record label person. I don't, I don't know. You never know with Daniel. But the one thing that's for sure is it's definitely not going to lead to anything because Daniel's either lying or it's not as significant as he's making it out to be. Daniel's also working on calling the uh, recording studio. Well, you know, Daniel's been hyping up new music that's releasing of his, and I know a lot of people are really excited about it, but, you know, truthfully, no one's excited about it because no one gives a shit about Daniel's music. He's still going to keep pushing for that dream to become, like, a big-time uh, artist. He already thinks he is. So, you know, actually, I take that back. I don't think Daniel's even really chasing his dream anymore. Yeah, he's always talking about recording music and wanting to be a big celebrity, but the reason I say that is because he already believes he's a big celebrity. You have you guys ever heard him talk about how like Taylor Swift knows who he is and everything? So he's still he's still working for that dream, but at the end of the day, he thinks he's already made it, which I mean, come on now. You know, you're you're working on, on calling some recording studios. If you were really the hot shot you thought you were, they'd be calling you. I just had a family member cancel tonight's dinner. <laughs> don't don't you hate when that happens? When your uncle just calls up the restaurant you're at and just says, Nope. <laughs> not happening not fucking happening this particular family member though really seems to have it out for daniel because in the exact next post he says i just had a family member cancel the hotel like holy shit they really don't want dan they don't want to see you winning daniel whoever this family member is maybe it's another troll i don't know but whoever they are they they've had enough of daniel and they're just getting rid of everything <laughs> dinner hotels nothing for you daniel Daniel says that he is going to be busy tonight, probably working on his new music, or maybe this is when he went and got the dog. Who knows? You, you never know with Daniel. It's always, <laughs> he never puts any more context than that. You know, that's, he's going to be busy and that's it. Don't you go asking his plans now. But if you do, he'll probably respond with another community post, like maybe, maybe seven or eight words detailing them. But that's about it. In the next one, though... <laughs> The next post, we, we've talked about how, 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 like, Daniel's trying to get money so badly, you know? He's doing things that are crazy, you know? Jotting down the price from 200 to 100. Like, what? Your mind is blown. Daniel Larson's worth at least 500. He's just looking out for the people. But something that he's willing to do for money will blow all of you away. Because Daniel is now saying that you can Venmo him. <laughs> His Venmo name is Daniel Superstar 50. You, you know he's legit with a name like that, but you can Venmo him for him to get a shower. 
Now, I don't know how that's going to affect anyone but the people in his, like, immediate vicinity, but Daniel here, we all know how much he hates to shower, so I don't know what's more crazy, the fact that he expects people to, like, pay him to shower, or the fact that, that he's grown the balls to actually go and shower, even if it is for money. Daniel is someone who notoriously, uh, he, he doesn't bathe, he hates the idea of a shower, he, he has scabies. I think up in his time in New York, the close to three months he spent there, I don't think he showered once. So Daniel, Daniel doing this is a very big step for him. Yeah, he's doing it for donations, but at the end of the day, you know, may, maybe you can make a little money stepping out of your comfort zone. That, that's a good thing for you, Daniel. More showers, less buying random dogs that you definitely shouldn't be having. Daniel says that he is currently dealing with another financial climb. Then he puts the little ladder emoji so you know he's serious. And as I've mentioned a lot throughout this video, he is climbing the ladder now. You know, he's he's got more money than he's probably ever seen in his life. But that also, you know, that's going to bring some issues. Because in the very next post, Daniel says, I'm about to spend $800 in one day. I don't know if he, he's using this as like a challenge to be like, hey guys, you know, I made the money, it's time for me to go on a little shopping spree. Um, I don't know if this is all of his bills accumulated into one and he's upset about that. But, you know, if it's if it's the bills thing, then, you know, good on you, Daniel. You you really, you knocked it out of the park. You know, you, you took your money and you spent it wisely. But if this is just him looking to spend $800, well, it's, it's not going to go good for Daniel. Because it's going to be the first time in his life that he actually has a little bit of disposable income. And he's going to piss that shit away pretty quickly. But as we've already mentioned again, hopefully he does it on the dog, you know. I'd rather him buy the dog, like, 10,000 bones than him, like, just, just piss the money away, I don't know, going to like a really expensive dinner at the Cheesecake Factory. But let's be honest, if he does that, he'll just dine and dash anyway. So, you know, may maybe he's maybe he's on to something here. I could read Daniel's community post for days and days and days because that's how many of them there actually are. But I think we're going to cut it off here because Daniel's had a pretty eventful week, but not nearly as eventful as anything we've seen in the past. I wanted to put together a Daniel Larson video to keep you guys updated because it's been about a month since we last talked about the guy. But sadly, there's no crazy occurrences and most of it's just bullshit about Daniel putting a poor animal in, in not the best of positions. But we'll have to see how Daniel reacts and how Daniel actually treats this dog. Um, let's, like I said, I've been saying it the whole video. Let's hope for the best, y'all. Let's, let's genuinely hope for the best. And hopefully I can come back here with a video in about a month's time and tell you, hey, Daniel's doing a great job with his dog and his new apartment. But, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think that's going to be the case. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. But, you know, that's, that's what Daniel's been up to. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoy videos like this, I do a show every Wednesday night at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time over on Kiwi Tape's channel called the Too High for Stupid Podcast. We talk about people like Daniel a lot, a lot of other weird anomalies from TikTok like Nova Online and Tofia Chu, who's going to be the uh, the real the real like uh, meat and potatoes of the podcast this week. So if you guys like this, I hope you can stop by. We cover people like Daniel, too, and a bunch of crazies like Tony Chase, Cyrax, you know, just, just, you know, you're running the mill lol cows so if you guys want to always come by and check that out and i always got to say thank you if you made it to the end of this video it it means a lot to me that you guys like the content this much any view anything that even if you guys hate the video drop a dislike let me know i love all your feedback i love knowing what the people think and yeah thank you guys for tuning in and with all that being said I want to give shouts out to Vanessa, Scaly Schisms, Churlish, Adrian Lara, All Right Stingy, Gypsy Pauls, Trademark, Commander Louie, Not So Crabby, Justin S, Count Drugula, SK Rux, Bullet BP, Fat Potato, Dan Dan Noodles, Emery, Jason, Philly B, Base Trucker, Robot Gorilla Man, Seal Currently, Eric Estrada, Everborn, Akiba's Beat Fan, Sora Trash, Salem, The Black Dragon, Prideful Jester, Griffin Shivo, Austin Vi 
Lydell, Club Doom, Gryphon, Jay Avarice, Costai, Zangetsu Black, Jay Sorensen, Brady Gravy, Greg the Rich, TJ, Grizzly Slug, Bob Skywalker, Just a Normal Bottle of Mustard, Ignatius, Spaghetti Jelly, Radon, MXAX, Dalton, Grizzly Bear, Pubsy, Sergeant Retro, The Red Scum, Barfunkel, Shag Nasty, Pebra, Night Scraper, Monarch, Nabarius, Canadian, Skyler, Crush Shadow, Viet Bong Vet, Me Man Dan, Dope and Smoke, Zuzu, Kerma, Turgberger, Marshall Rogers, Nunya D Business, Unicorn is God, Blue Sapphire, Proto Shock, Jammer X, Pastor Arthur Montgomery, Miserable Attic, Dirty J, Ian, Sword Brother, Nomags, Mr. Muda, Mrs. Starscream, Annabelle, Rexo, King of Town, Sludge Maniac, Cappy Baraman, Kairos, Try Give Black Tiger, Tiki's General Store, Ya Buddy Bubba, Reb Zoomer, Chat Creeper, The Ghostbusters Fan, Old Man Bradley, Squidwater, Trap Lordius, Pope Super Comic, a Jizzler, Metal Wolf, Some Frenchie, Nappy, Burger, Sine Wave, Deus Valter, Big Burr, Zook Nation, Jasper, Let a Bitch Live, Lord Fixa, Doc, Mind Boy, Pepsi Smuggler, Drew, Lieutenant Dangle, Hoadman, 100 Norwals, Tony Montana, Wolfgang's Calling, Joey Huey, Mr. McMunchie, Night from Afar, Lord, King Bobby B, Cheems Bogar, Trashbo, Anton Levy, Ronnie, Marissa, Peanut Mama, Hillbilly Wizard, Official Chad, Hunter Cobb, The Black Dragon, Dangler Rangla, Wet Bread, Randy Leahy, Kieran, Killing Jokes, Steve Ulinsky, Coffee Moose, Tommy, The Grundle, Legendary Duelist, Riz Master, Gary, Sloth Thing, My Black Dragon, Kevin Finnerty, Funky Weapon, Eric the Black Dragon, Ed Boy, Not a Gamer, Ja, G.H. Champ, Was Dead, Angela, Jason, Mr. Frosty, Clovis, Nikolai, Tanner Laswell, Riker Blade, Captain Spalding, Wylanda, Nick Flynn, Rotjaw, Matt Dabrowski, Ryan Ulinski, Fubsy, Anti CK, No, Not the Corn, Night Shroud, Your Psycho Ex Girlfriend, Suki Satsuki, Noel Garaby, The Memes Jack, RJ Kogan, Fratrick McCombs, Izame, Inigo Montoya, DSP's Receding Hairline, Benjamin the Black Dragon, Loranius the Black Dragon, Dat Doge Boy, Honda Civic, Pickle the Black Dragon, Light Grove, Actius, Draven, Subject Shake, Catman the Black Dragon, Tingle Makani, Dubs Main, Man B64, Mike Muskie, Full Thickness, Mattress Store, Josh, Ziamara Moo, Cromla, Christine, Black Ice, EH, Corvonix, Jack Gusto, Ramen, Kai B, Bimp Liskit, Cress, That One, DJ Cannon, Great White Hype, Joey Huey, Kyle Edwards, Whoopazing, B Man's, Neat Life, Chewy, Guestbo, Vit Trips, Crafty Ninja, Warm frothing jar of sludge, Lee Luna, Simplicit, Vish K, Jesus H. Christ, Kaiser Sigma, Dark Nozomi, Sam Taylor, Buxo Drew, Stinky Fist, Dubious Dinkster, Sweet Maddie, Chocolate, BTF Nation, Jacob is Lucas, Unprofessional, Hot Wheels, Witch Doctor, Bobby Queso, Clyde Cash, Big Daddy DK, Enigma APA, Dingbat, Vince's Money, Little Black, Sea Dragon, Bako, Smokeman, Turbo Soggy, Seven Dust, Cerulean Church, Andex, Johnny Slapnuts, Kai, the Skunk Ape, Mikey, Sam Man, Dougal, the Snail Man, Jag Skulls, Panana, Dick Dastardly, Based Bigfoot, G.D. Allen, Wait What, Kill All of the Bugs, James J. Jameson, Fruity, Mr. Jinx, Snoobly Doot, Jacob Rosetta, Cat, Fluffy, Ricky Cornflakes, Yakob, Jurassic Clark, Runa, Heaven Strider, Victor Dioro, Imbergo, Apple Smoke, Joe Smother, Pseudonym, T Toxic, L.E.P., Brandon Williford, Shoop to Hoop, Dr. Depresso, Cal Wrangler, Sunflower, Dominion Sorcerer, Kangna, Ian Brandon Anderson, The Black Dragon, Cicada, Brando, Baby, Controlled Chaos, Autumn, Lotus Man, J Travel, Sir Useless, Logan Cole, Johnny, White Glove, Dane Justice, The Real, De Solita, Vivisa, Don Grease, Colon Sausages, Cario, Zal, Entropic Star Kid, Megami Man, Joe M, Anonymous, CC, Timbang, Phony Bread, Just Nate Heat, Isaiah, Cowboy Pete, Madman, Looking Up, Number One, The Wise Black Dragon, Paul Haney, Bong, One to Think, Fictional, Da Sting, 
hunted by Stingrays, Supreme Quacker Pie, Void, Chung, Nathan, Johnny Midnight, Great Lakes Sinner, John John, Jeremiah Moore, Low Battery Smoke Detector, Moo the Mogul, Chunky Raccoon, Coding Crusader, Kenny Colfax, Zacchaeus Liang, Aaron, Matt, Nova Crane, Vert Rocks, Duck Lord, Ryman, Locks, Bloody Mary, EJ, Mateen, Misty, Johnny, Joe Mama, Ryan L., Lorenzo, Captain Cholera, Hashkov, Omega, Orange Rhino, Ted Comet, Harold Larold, Mighty Possum, Cryptid Bait, Perry Lee, Venom Snake, Laguna Luar, Slug Lip, Blank, Mr. Zombie Shake, Biohazard Salad, Natalia Jenkins, Kiwi Tapes, I Hate Everything, JT, Hyena Man, IDK Grouchy, Spike Chandelier, Chris Chan's Fanta Bottle Collection, The Dirty Bald Knobber, Lofi, Jackal, Black Meddler, River Ranger, PG, Maddie, Quickville Cop, Kiwi, and Coggles. You guys are all goats, and I say it all the time, but thank you guys again for all the support you've always shown. And you know, this is the summer of the lol cow, my friends. I hope you guys have been enjoying all the content we've been putting out. There's definitely more to come. I say it every time, though, but you guys, I hope you have a great rest of your week, great rest of your summer. It's a hot one this summer, you know, don't get me wrong. Unless you're in, like, the mountains in Montana where it's snowing, you're probably uh, you're pr probably just trying to catch, catch a break from the heat. But my friends... If, uh, you know, no matter when, where life takes you, no matter what happens this summer, just keep your head up high, and I hope you guys have a good one. And I hope I see you here in the next video, man. It's always great to have you all around. Until the next time, take care, guys. Stay safe.